one of my university professors had a funny feature. Instead of giving a score test, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he wrote a personal equation and its decision is a mark that you got. I remember that I received this equation when I studied at the university. So let's take a look at this one and try to figure out what score from 1 to 5 is hidden there. At first sight, what I can say, we have an infinite left part. x square root of x square root of x square root of x at its infinitial and it all equals to 16. Left part is infinitial and right is constant. But it seems so creepy. Let's write it in another way. Let's write it like x times x and instead of square root we write to the power of 1 divided by 2. x times bracket 1 divided by 2. x bracket 1 divided by 2 and another one and it equals to 16. Here we understand that left side is nothing but a product of functions x times x to the power of 1 divided by 2 times x to the power of 1 divided by 4 we dive in deeper times x to the power of 1 8 times and some others and it equals to 16. And knowing properties of powers, we can write left side like x to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 8 plus and some others and it equals to 16. What we can see in the power of x, of course. This is sum of infinitely decreasing geometry progression. And how we can find this sum? Of course, we know the formula that sum of this progression, which have n members, equals to a1, the first member of progression, times q to the power of n minus 1, divided by q minus 1. Q equals to a2 divided by a1 or a3 divided by a2 a4 divided by a3 and it equals to 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 and it equals to 1 divided by 2 a1 is the first member and it equals to 1 so we can find that sum of infinitely decreasing geometry progression equals to 1 times 1 divided by 2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 minus 1. As we know that n goes to infinitial, we understand that 1 divided by 2 times n goes to 0. That's why we have that our sum equals to 1 times minus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by 2. And of course it equals to 2. So, we can write this equation like x to the power of sum equals to 2 and it equals to 16. Very nice. And there we get that x equals to plus or minus 4. But minus 4 is not our solution because look at the beginning. We know that x is more or equals to 0 but minus 4 is less than 0. So the one and the only one solution of our equation is x equals to 4. Oh, the score from test is 4. Very good. From scale from 1 to 5, it's a not a really bad mark, isn't it? <laughs> it was a really creative way of professor to talk us about our marks. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this method and you really enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel and I want to see you in the next video.